Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to another episode. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the engine controller, which I mentioned uh, last episode, and the reason why I built these um, en uh, gasoline engines uh, one up, because the engine controller um, controls these engines, and I believe a couple of engines, I'm not sure, but they do control the uh, gasoline engines, the high performance engines, um, and they control them from below. So let's first get to creating some. Um, so it's basically some uh, HSL steel, some electrum, and two circuit boards. I'm gonna make two because I've got two engines. And what these machines essentially do is, um, these are gasoline engines, just as an example, uh, output 128 Newton meters of torque at 512 rads, right? Uh, and this grinder here requires 128 newton meters, the same as the newton meters the engine puts out. However, it really only requires uh, 4,096 uh, watts. And if you do your maths, it only really requires the engine to output at 32, um, <coughs> 32 rads, as opposed to its 512, right? So between the the difference between the 512 and the 32 rads that the engine produces effectively gets wasted. Now, the because it's a radiocraft machine, the faster the input, the uh, the faster the processing time. But uh, it's not necessarily a one-to-one -one scale. So putting in 100% power doesn't necessarily give you 100% speed. 200% uh, doesn't necessarily give you 200% speed. It might only give you 120%. So. Um, the reality is that this engine really does lose a lot of power and by that a lot of fuel efficiency by running this machine at full speed. So what the controller does is essentially what you can do is with your screwdriver you can right click on it and you can see down the bottom it just says ECU set to 0.00% speed. Essentially it's turned off. Uh, you can set to 6.25 speed which is what we'll be doing later on. Uh, to quarter speed and half speed and then 100% so there's no 75 uh, like I said this thing really only needs 32 rads a second I think is what I calculated at um, and if we set it to 6.25% speed we're going to be I think it's setting it to 1 16th of its uh, total speed so we're essentially I'm going to be using one sixteenth of the fuel that's going into it. So um, let's just put a tiny bit in there. You can see it's now turning around. The grinder is working because you can see it turning around there. We've only put one in there and the fuel time says one hour, three minutes and 20 seconds, which is a huge, huge amount. And if we just uh, click on it again to get it to 25, you notice it goes a little bit faster. You can check the time. So going all the way up to 25% is at 7.45 minutes. So that will go back to 6.25. So now, okay, so that's much better at uh, 58 minutes. We're going to do the same thing for this one as well. And we're going to put one in there. And now we've got that running for about an hour. Each of them running for an hour. Uh, only off two ethanol, and if you know how to make ethanol, uh, uh, which I've put a, I put a link down below, and you can check that out. Um, making ethanol is pretty easy, but making it in in high amounts is quite difficult, uh, especially if you're running these things at full power. Uh, there is also another thing you can do with um, the engine controllers. Uh, I should make some. Have I got any wood? Uh, I got some wood. You can actually turn the engines into redstone controlled. So we'll get some wood, get some levers, like so. And to turn these engines into redstone control, you have to shift, right click, and now it says it's uh, redstone controlled. As you can see, it's still turned on because um, the machine essentially. When it's got no red redstone signal, it's in full 100% speed. As you can see, it's only got 36, 7, 37 seconds left, whatever. And if we apply a redstone signal to it, that's a little uh, a glitch that hasn't turned off. But as you can see, the fuel 
has stopped going down, that will stop in a moment. Uh, so the engine is essentially turned off. So with a redstone signal, the engine turns off. Without it, the engine goes 100%. Unfortunately, you can't um, have it set to 6.25 and have the redstone signal. So if you want the redstone signal um, enabled on, you can either get it at 0% speed or 100% speed. We're going to just knock that off and we're going to shift right quick to go back to manual control. I'm going to set it to 6.25 is the way I want it to go. So now we've got a uh, high fuel efficiency. Uh, generally I didn't really use the engine controls beforehand because I was essentially using these engines at, at full speed. Um, but now, um, hmm, I can, I can see a use for them now. So, uh, yeah, so that's about it for today's episode. If you want to, you know, that, <coughs> oh, cough, words can't speak. Uh, if you want to know anything, let me know. Uh, let me know. Uh, uh, oh, my brain's not working today. Just, just like the video. That would really help. And subscribe that too. Uh, what else do I want? Uh, 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 hugs, kisses, um, teddy bears, like a new car, uh, having a, a second graphics card. Yeah, that's all I can think of right now. Well, until next time, guys. Uh.